is now inside the arena on the red corner coming from Netherlands Andy Sauer he is one of the sports all-time best a slick fighter an intelligent fighter a decorated champion he is the 30 year old Dutch Andy Sauer a legend in the ring a great man outside the ring a great father a great son a technician a man that comes to take you apart a man that never stops a legend in a sport a former two-time T1 Max champion Mr. Andy Sauer and as you can see, the crowd here at the Palma Arena on their feet as Andy Sauer is set to make his way down the K1 Max walkway. Andy Sauer coming in the ring. The old crowd is up. The former champion is coming back home. Yesterday we have the pleasure to sit down with him. He gave us some great insight about his life, about his journey in the sport, about what he fights. And we're very excited. The K1 staff, Mr. Mike Kim, Matt Kuru, to have Andy Sauer back home, back where he belongs, back where he told us he loves to be. He was very honest with us and told us he had offers from other promotions, but he feels like K1 helped to build him, and he's here back where he belongs. So we're very candid about the fact that at one point he fell out of love with the sport of kickboxing, but has since found his love again for the sport. Yes, of kickboxing and K1. Kido. Making his way to the K1 ring now is Japanese star Yasuhiro Kido. Kido is one of the the men that's been there than that in the kickboxing world. Been in K1 Max, he's a big star in Japan. He's an entertainer, not just a fighter. He has a very unorthodox style. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if his uh, unorthodox style of kickboxing is gonna be a part with Andy Sauer, volume, pressure, and technique. Kido wants to be known as the new Masato. A consummate athlete is involved in track and field. As a matter of fact, does the 100 meter. Also told us he hired Masato's old coach because he wanted to get better. He's very confident in his abilities to win tonight. And uh, he's ranked number one in Japan right now at 155 pounds, 70 kilograms. And we're very happy to have him here in a K1 Max ring. And there is nothing more that he would love than to go to the Max Final Eight. Very powerful man. Gentlemen, this fight is presented by Thai Airways International on the red corner. The sour power is here at Mallorca. On the I'm coming from Japan on the blue corner, Yasuhiro Kido. Sour hates the loop. The fight is presented by Thai Airways International and the referee is Mr. Asushi 
Onari. Yushiro, the taller fighter tonight, said he's going to make use of his knees in this fight. Sauer said at seven years of age, his father suggested that he learn self-defense because he thought he was weak. And now, look at him, two-time max champion, one of the greatest martial artists in the world today. He's a living legend in the kickboxing. Over 100 fights, over 100 wins. Wins against the best in the sport. And we are underway. You can see right away Yoshiro's unorthodox styles, style of fighting. And he's very careful. Kido keeping that left hand forward, keeping the Dutch fighter at bay. But Sauer, one of his biggest weapons is his intellect. He is able to mix it up better than almost anyone. He is the textbook of Thai boxing. His combination is very fast. But he didn't unleash them yet tonight. A minute into the first round. Sauer trying to utilize fates. Kido with a big kick. He escapes off the ropes. Kido looks strong. Big kick by Andy. You are watching the 2013 K1 World Max Final 16 live from Mallorca, Spain. Andy tries to find his timing to step in there and close the distance, land his punches, but right now it's a tick for tat fight. Sauer trying to pin Keto in the corner. Inside, leg attack by the Dutch fighter, and then he goes high. Misses, and he gets kicked by Ishihiro. Big kick by Ishihiro. Kido feels his key to success is to utilize his high kicks. And he keeps the pressure. But he doesn't throw volume like he used to do. Instead, picks his punches. And there the left hand scores, but a knee scores by Kido. Landed a nice hook. Kido lands with his knee. We all know the how durable Andy Sauer is. We saw him fighting three fights in a one night many times. Twice he won the championship fighting three fights in one night. He can take tremendous punishment. Hits him here with the over the top. Yoshihiro tries the back fist. And Sauer goes high. Then low. Really mixing it up well, but Kido. And round number one comes to an end. Andy, Andy finished strong. But it's an even round. They kind of exchange kick for kick. And uh, Andy pushed the action a bit, pressured, but didn't land it much. Very close round. I think uh, it looks to me like Andy tried to start to find his uh, rhythm with uh, Yoshiro. Yoshiro hits very hard. He, he's very. Uh, his kicks are so hard tonight. As you can see on the replays here, Andy starts to get his timing. Sauer enjoys the respect hard work brings and likes the obstacles. And well, he's got a tough one in front of him in the form of Yasuhiro Kido. Indeed, John. Kido has been on fire in the Japan kickboxing circuit for the last uh, two years. And uh, Sauer again trying to pin the Japanese fighter in the corner. Sauer constantly moving forward. Kido trying to take advantage of that fact. Sauer wants to make this into a fight. 
he doesn't like the style of Yoshihiro just to, to go shot for shot. He wants to step in, exchange punches because uh, I think he feels he has an advantage in speed and accuracy. A nice low kick scores by Kido. Just like we talked, Kido is looking for that long knee. Who will advance to the max final eight? Will it be Andy Sauer or Yasuhiro Kido? And Andy's still moving forward. A little mouse forming under the left eye of Sauer. A spinning back fist scores by the Japanese fighter. Andy eats hard knees, but he's moving forward through them. Looking for the big punches. There, Sauer targeting the head. There's only one man in the world that can fight like this. Walk through everything and move forward with power punches, power kicks. Could it be disheartening for Sauer that he is throwing everything at Kido and he just smiles? Kido smiles, but Andy's running the show right now in the ring. Keeps him on the ropes the whole time. Yoshihiro is looking for the hard kicks, just like you see right there. But Andy walks through. Sauer can take it like the best of them. He is the man. He's been the man for many, many years. When it comes to durability, heart. He is like a Terminator. And he's here to win tonight. Left foot, not enough space to create enough power. Another spinning back fist attempt by Kido. And once again, finds himself trapped in the corner, but quickly escapes. The referee warning Kido nice about the elbows. And down to two down. One to go. And here in our main event. 2013 K1 World Max Final 16 from the Pava Arena in stunning Mallorca, Spain. We got the chance to see it around with Andy Sauer, old Andy Sauer, moving forward, eating punches and knees and walking through. True samurai. But uh, Yashuhiro doesn't get overwhelmed. He's still into the fight. He's still looking for the high knee, just like we thought he would, because he's taller than Andy. Moving to the third round. And crew, Sauer did tell us this is one of the best training camps he has ever had. He's been, he, he talked to us about his, uh, his trip to Brazil. Uh, he got hired by uh, UFC champion Jose Aldo to help him with his training camp. And uh, he told us he had a great time there, that he taught a lot of stuff to, uh, to, in, to Aldo, but he learned a lot from, the, from Aldo about spirit, about fighting, about fighting for your country. And uh, he said it was a great experience for him as a fighter. Nice. Spinning attack by Sauer. Sauer, a proud father, two sons. Eight and five. Stop. And like you mentioned, crew, running the show here in the third final round. But Kido can take it. That is without question. Kido knows he's behind on the scorecards. So he has, his, it's now or never. One thing you have to know about Japanese fighters. Headbutt. Sent to the neutral corner. No, 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 no. 
stop the bout. The doctor will examine the cut over the right eye. Hopefully this fight will continue because it's an awesome fight. It would be a shame to stop the fight. If it would be a stoppage because it was a, from a headbutt, we would go to the scorecards. I think we all know the result. Headbutt. Small cut. Give it to Kido. Kido bows. He's a true samurai. He doesn't want to win in a cheap way. He's here to fight. And Sauer just on fire as he presses forward against the uber tough Japanese fighter Yasuhiro Kido. Kido got to rest a bit and he's coming forward because one of the things when you fight Andy Sauer is hard to keep up with his own pace. He's a very high space fighter and puts pressure on you at the all time. Nice trade right hand there by Andy. Sauer seemed frustrated as Kido landed that knee during the break. Kido is laughing but he's getting punished by Andy. Sauer really looking sensational here. Doing what we've seen him do time and time again. But now Kido trying nice to put Russian into the corner. And Sauer now turns the tides. What a fight. Just like we expect. That's why we had this fight, the main event for the max. Sauer falls to the canvas. Now Sauer trapped against the ropes, throws a kick to the head that scores on Kido. Very, very fast Lokis by Andy Sauer. Kido, Kido beautiful, beautiful knee. knee indeed by the Japanese fighter. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to utilize that more throughout this fight. Kido got a breather when they check Andy Scott and he's right back in the fight. But he's Seem like those kicks to the legs took their toll on Yasuhiro Kido. And the fight is in the books. Both guys brought it tonight. They entertain the crowd here in Mallorca, Spain. But I would be surprised if it was anyone but Andy Sauer moving to the final eight. Great fight, great main event to top up a phenomenal card, phenomenal effort by the youngsters. We bring in K1 Max by the master of Thai boxing, Mr. Buakau. And then uh, this was this was an example of what K1 Max is all about. Full out action, no stalling. And crew, you talk about action. K1 has a ton of it coming up in 2014. Qualifiers through the first half of the year. In the 63 kilogram, 70 kilogram, 85 kilogram, and the heavyweight divisions, it is an exciting time for K1. Let's see the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, in this fight we have a unanimous decision. The winner is the Red Corner on the. Class act indeed. Andy Sauer in victory bows to his opponent, Yasuhiro Kido, a true martial artist at heart. You have to love both these fighters for the stuff they do in the ring, for the way they conduct themselves outside the ring. Andy Sauer is not just a great champion, it's a great, great model for the, for the youth, for the new generation to show how you should live your life in a healthy way, how you should never give up to your dreams, even at his age. This is the he told us power. his dream is to become the third time K1 Max champion. Started his own team two years ago, Team Sauer. Says his family and 
friends, inspire him, and he wants to be a good example. We get, we get the chance to spend some time with Sauer, and he is just as advertised, a class act. He is a class act, a great guy, great fighter. It was a pleasure to call his fight tonight. It's a pleasure to call all the fights with you tonight, crew. Beautiful, beautiful night of fighting. We got to see the speed, we got to see the new guys, and uh, we're gonna have an exciting final eight. Maximo Suarez, Boca, Banchimek, Sung Yong Lee, Shane Ladies Campbell, and Enrico Kale, Juji Peng, Alain Mangor, and Andy Sauer Andy all advance to the K1 World Max Final Eight to happen sometime before year's end. Stay tuned we for all the details. The last fight of the night, and this is going to be a